All right, Saturday morning. I just uh, finished up at the office for a little bit, and then now I'm gonna go to the post office to um, drop off a lot of blog style packages, which is good. Uh, so Friday night, yesterday, my mom and I had a date. Um, we might go out like a couple times a month, like on a Friday or a Saturday, and shop and eat and stuff like that. Uh, but so last night was half off cheesecake at um. Cheesecake Factory and uh, of course on a Friday night and the weather is nice and you're in a nice area oh my god Cheesecake Factory was so packed could not there was no way we were getting reservations so we went to North Gym Rack and um, I didn't get any oh I got a robe by Kenzie which is cute it's like white with like uh, black tie-dye splotches on it okay so I was just like, I, I accidentally like somebody, like, on Tinder. And I had like an I had a very extreme reaction. I was like, I think I was like walking out of my door, and I did it, and I was like, fuck, fuck, and I didn't realize like the neighbors straight across the way were outside. So they they're probably like, why is she alone, screaming? The other day we saw her wandering around in like a robe at like 6.50 in the morning when I had locked myself out. They must think I'm so weird. I live in like a almost, I want to call it, I feel like it's a um, like almost like a retirement community. I feel like no one, everyone is mostly like 70 or 80 years old. There's like a few random like younger people, like the people next door to me might be like, I don't know, in their 50s-ish is my guess. And then the people across the way, I really don't know about them. I can't I, tell if if they're married or if it's like a dad and a daughter. Is that weird? That must be really weird to think that. I'm not really sure though what's happening there. <laughs> anyway, I don't know what I want to do today. Like I had, I have no plans. So I'm like, I really want to go through my closet again. I love... It's just like a weird thing, but I love like constantly like just going through my makeup and like getting rid of stuff that I'm not reaching for or like almost like like clothing like oh if I haven't reached for this palette in like three months maybe I should get rid of it. Maybe I'm not, you know, or like my clothing. So clothing and makeup gets done pretty often, but I really I also want to go through my jewelry. I might do a thing on the blog sale where like I'll just like all the jewelry would be like a dollar or like all you know what I mean or like I actually want to do like all the lip products go for a dollar or something like regardless of brand or price or whatever you know what I mean so so I just got home and I made mac and cheese because I really want mac and cheese so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna have mac and cheese but I wanted to share some stuff I got in case you guys are out shopping at Marshall's I picked up this you know, like those Sigma brush cleaning pads. This one was $5.99. So I was like, well, that doesn't seem like a bad price. So we'll try it and see if I like it. Um, oh, more macaroni and cheese. This I picked up. I think um, I generally like benzoyl peroxide. And this has 2.5% benzoyl peroxide. And the on-the-spot treat treatment, I believe, also has 2.5%. So I'm like, might as well get this one. That's when you get 2 ounces. I think that one you get 0.75. And it's a leave-on mask but I'll probably just use it as a spot treatment so I'm like hey so much product and uh, cheaper and then also at Marshall's I picked up more of these plantain chips the garlic ones these are so good you know as always I will just link everything below I don't I'm voluntarily going to Costco right now it is a Sunday <clears throat> I did get to lay out today so that felt really nice um I'm going because I really want the quinoa salad from Costco for lunch this week. Also, you guys, okay, so Trader Joe's and Costco, you ever see these things like these articles or these lists online that tell you like fun stuff you can get? But the problem is not all the Costco's or like all the Trader Joe's carry the same stuff. So I have a list of things that I wanted. This is from like early June. Um, edamame spaghetti, the Suja Mighty Greens Juice, organic coconut sugar, turkey meatballs and tomato sauce. Parmesan cheese crisps, which I probably shouldn't get. I literally take shredded Parmesan and put it in the microwave all the time. Crispy coconut rolls. I don't know if I want those. But there's other things, and I just, I want the quinoa salad. Maybe I'll get like a rotisserie. No, I don't want a rotisserie chicken. 
Miu Miu sunglasses. These are in the, the black color. Um, I've been wearing the red ones last, so I was like, okay, let's get these out. And I also have a backup pair of these, so I can, I can, I can more freely use these. I don't know why I don't, because... Okay, so I just got out of Ulta, and I think I cut myself off when I was talking, but I wanted to get a hair mask. So I got these from Ava NYC, the therapy session hair mask. I got a sample of it from like a Generation Beauty swag bag. So I got two because they're buy one, get one half off. And then I had the 350 off coupon. And then I have $3 Ulta rewards. So I got both of them for $15.98, which I think is a pretty good deal. And you get like a lot of hair mask in here. It's like 16.9 fluid ounces or 500 milliliters versus like other ones that are giving you like eight or nine ounces of a, of a hair mask. So Okay, so let's do a food haul, kind of. So I got my quinoa salad. They ha it's usually like, what do you call it? They're usually like 12 or 13 bucks, but I think this must have been like they made batches and there's like leftover. So this one was only like 8.43, but obviously I have less, which is better because sometimes I can't finish the whole thing. Ooh, should we, <gasps> do, should we do like a taste test? Because there's some stuff I haven't had before. Well, I've had the quinoa salad before and it's really good. You have the quinoa, Cucumber, tomatoes, mung beans, red bell peppers, brown rice, kale, soybean oil, cilantro, red lentils, and then there's lemon juice, vinegar, salt, water, sugar, spices. So it's like pretty healthy. This I haven't had before. This is their chicken salad. This I haven't had before. This is their chicken salad. So maybe we'll try it. Um, yeah. Ooh, what is it in here? It's probably celery, right? don't want to eat too much mm. yeah. it's pretty like how I would expect it to taste okay Ooh. I actually want to eat so much more but I'm not going to because I have um not a date tonight but probably a dinner wherein I might be listening to a lot of bullshit but we'll see um, okay. Yeah, and this. So what is this? The the Boom Chicka Pop. It's their kettle corn. It's supposed to buy one, get one free. So you got two for like five sixty nine, which is a pretty good price. I'm always good for popcorn. I got uh, the Ling Ling Asian Kitchen Pot Stickers with chicken and vegetables. Andrew had done a video with one of these, one of these, with these, and they look good. And I always want to find like good dumplings to make or have so there's that and then i got ooh, we'll try this this is the mateo's gourmet salsa they have the ones that are like in the freezer section that are like um uh what do you call it like uh yeah uh mango salsa and like their regular salsa Ooh, this smells really good okay and then i got these chips basically i got this massive bag of tortilla chips because i got this jar of salsa yeah i know ridiculous but i have i don't keep chips at home i don't have them so let's <sighs> i have like my pajama outfit on oh the back's not pajama like though the back is really cute so i mean can we see yeah so it's one of those, it's another bra that I got when I was at Charlotte Russe. They have a lot of cute bralettes, but I don't think they're all that well made, so you have to like try them on. Okay, so these chips are the Garden Medley, organic, whole earth, corn, flaxseed, spinach, beets, carrots, and tomatoes. So let's try this. That's not good. Mmm. It almost has like Indian chutney vibes. Mmm, that's very good. I would totally grab like more fresh jalapenos and cilantro and just have this. It's really good. You could probably even add like fruits to it, like dice some mangoes into it. Yeah. that's everything I got at Costco so this is the peacock feather printed canvas that I usually take my blog style photos on and 
So right here is kind of everything that I'm trying to put on there right now. Um, the goal is to, I have everything taken, I've taken pictures of everything. Um, I'm just trying to figure out, except for the lip products, I want to do those uploaded separately, but this is what <laughs> we're working with. I'm trying really hard to get rid of stuff. Like, So I've gone through all my powders pretty much and eliminated the ones that I either don't reach for or, I mean, clearly right now I'm super into the... La Mer and the La Prairie. Um, I'm currently going through concealers, so hopefully those will make it on here soon. And then we have like just eyeshadow palettes, and down here we have like smaller eyeshadow palettes, blushes, bronzers, highlighters. Okay, so more with the purging. I have like clothing and like shoes and purses and like all these bags. Uh, I would say some of it has the tags on it, um, and some of it doesn't, but let me know what you guys suggest. I was looking at an, uh, a website called ThreadUp, where you can, like, they'll send you a bag and you can fill it up, and then they will sell it on them for you, because I don't know, the, the idea of having to, like, photograph everything and put it on the blog sale, or put it on Amazon, or put it on eBay, I just don't have time for that right now, like, just the blog sale itself, as well as... Maybe putting jewelry and sunglasses on there is already enough for me. Also, I want to do brushes, like makeup brushes, and I, you know, that involves like cleaning them and photographing those as well. So let me know what websites you guys would recommend for, and there's my cake stand. That's not getting donated. That is going to be in this room. I'm so excited. Okay, uh, yeah, let me know what websites you guys would suggest if I wanted to <laughs> kind of donate and or, well, not donate. I mean, I already have my donate pile. But this is like how to, uh, how to sell pile. Yeah, let me know. Okay, off to get the pizza. I just ordered it. I'm very excited. Okay, so I haven't been, I haven't even shared my makeup with you guys yet in this vlog, have I? Maybe we'll do that tomorrow morning. So it's been kind of a quiet week, I guess. Um, and I don't really anticipate it getting loud. <laughs> I don't know if this, that's the correct term for it. So, oh my god, okay, any, but, <laughs> it hasn't been, I'm trying to like lay off and I'm trying not, I'm not meeting any new people, I don't think like actively, not on purpose, like, oh let me, like, it's just like, you know, if, if it happens, it happens, however, people who come back, it's very, there's those people who are, who like, have just been around for a really long time, and they come back every so often and then you engage in it either a either out of boredom or out of like what kind of shit is this person gonna pull now and I would just caution I mean you don't have to listen to me but I only engage with these people and participate in this fuckery when like they like no longer affect you then you can you know whatever just for shits and giggles I also consider a lot of people to be a learning experience like it's very educational like you don't know what other kind of shit they'll pull because the shit they've pulled in the past has been ridiculous so you're like well let me see let me see how else in other ways disappointment can unfold but it's not really disappointment right because like you you're not expecting anything you have below substandard expectations so it's fine so it's very entertaining um the other thing is i don't know what happened like this past handful of days people who just reappear out of nowhere you're like i don't even know where you came from like from for example there's a guy i was talking to maybe a couple months ago we never met we were just like texting for maybe a day or two and it was like good texting but we just stopped texting it wasn't like a like we were having like a bad conversation or we were searching for things to talk about it was like a good conversation but for one reason or another like he i think if i remember it correctly he had texted like he responded to something or i responded to something he responded to something and then i could have kept the conversation going but i didn't and then he could have texted sorry railroad tracks and he could have kept the conversation going and he didn't so instead there was just no conversation and i would say this happens pretty often for one reason or another you just stop talking and now mind you we've never met like i said 
two. This is two months later, pretty much. How you text me after midnight, like, hey. We are not on that level. We are not. It's just, <laughs> like, mmm. It was so obviously, you know, it was just, just very obvious why he was texting. You're just like, I don't, dude. Another one. This was maybe only maybe a couple weeks ago, a, w a week and a half to two weeks ago, I was talking to another guy. And it was just, you know, perfectly fine conversation. Like, this one dropped off. I don't even know how this one happened. It was more like, he sends me a picture and I'm like, oh, and I respond to the picture. And then I ask him about his evening and then nothing, nothing. He doesn't respond and I'm like, oh, okay. I did not know that this was over. So, how you text me? Hey, what's up? How are you? Sorry, I went MIA. Really, you sorry? You sorry? So just to fuck with him a little, because this is what I do, like, I, again, we hadn't met at all. So just to fuck with him a little, I was like, you know, we've matched on Tinder, because I met him on Bumble, so I was like, you know what, we've matched on Tinder before, and you totally disappeared on me there, too. There was definitely, it took a while for him to respond, because I do remember matching with him on Tinder. I don't really recall our conversation necessarily, but it was just enough truth to fuck with him, and he was just like, no, you know, like, I'm sorry, it's totally not your fault, it's totally me, da 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 da, -da. you didn't do anything wrong, and I'm like, I'm so sick of hearing I didn't do anything wrong, like, really? Whether it be people that I have never met, and they come back, this is, like, so common now at this point, or it's someone I have met, gone out on dates with, saw them for maybe, like, even a month or two, how you come tell me? You're so sorry, I didn't do anything wrong. Well, all right. <laughs> I went the other, oh my God, there is so much traffic. All right, here we go into a big mess. Oh, <laughs> let's see how this goes. Pizza Hut is like before the traffic. Perfect. Okay, so this is pizza number one. This is a hand-tossed crust with toasted Asiago cheese on the crust. We have Mediterranean olives, the Peruvian cherry red peppers, which are so good. Oh my god, so delicious. And then we've got the some bacon, spinach, this usually comes with mushrooms. I took those off since I put the Peruvian red cherry peppers and then it's a white sauce. So good. So they were doing a deal. It was $10, any size, any toppings, anything for $10. This one is the fat girl pizza. <laughs> this is stuffed crust pizza. And we've got pineapple chicken, jalapenos. I think that's it. Tracy doesn't have onions. Otherwise I would probably do like red onions on this. Oh, and then this one also has like a garlic butter crust. I love their crust options. Oh, and the sauce you saw drizzled on the one before was balsamic. Hey guys, so I haven't gone through my makeup with you guys at all in this vlog, so we're gonna do that hopefully really quickly, but maybe not, because there's like a whole bunch of products I wanna share with you and that are like different and new. So I've been using the Murad Hydrodynamic Quenching Essence. This is their step two. They have an actual moisturizer in this line also. I can't remember what step one is. This is really good as a moisturizer slash primer. Like, really, really good. Um, it almost feels like the kind of silicone -y primers that you would use. Uh, the only thing is, I don't, I always use these things and I, once I, right when I feel like maybe I'm gonna break out, I stop, which is dumb because I don't know if I'm gonna break out or not. I'm just like so scared too that I just stop using it because things that feel like a silicone on my skin tend to make me feel like, you know, like self-fulfilling prophecy. You're like, oh, I'm totally gonna break out because it feels like it's clogging my pores and blah, you know. But I always just, you know, switch back and forth between this or I got this in the winter and it does really work really great as a moisturizer in the winter. I think this whole line, the Hydrodynamic Quenching Essence line is really good. Um, and I've also been using the Murad Invisibler, which has the SPF 30 in it um, as a base. Without any moisturizer, I use the Invisibler. And then I've been using this at night, the Clarins Instant Lip Instant Light Lip Comfort Oil. 
This one's like a very like a honey type scent. I've just been trying to find a good overnight lip treatment. Like not even the lip treatment. I just want it to not be flaky in the morning or not have like dead skin or just to have like moisturized lips in the morning that are like smooth. And this has been working so good. I know because I used to just kind of keep it in more like a makeup type thing but this is so good for overnight like i just applied this straight up this and the glossier coconut balm.com as well as, as well as their regular balm.com really really good for foundation i want really want to <laughs> just like i want to go through and use like other foundations or use up other foundations i've been going through a big purge process you'll see like i've gone through all of my powders all the powders that i don't reach for anymore are on the blog sale um, I think I showed you earlier in this vlog too, the stuff that I've been putting on there. So this bottle feels almost empty, so I want to finish it off. It's the Bourjois Healthy Mix Serum Foundation. I have shade 53. It's a semi-matte, but obviously it's too light for me for right now. So I just mixed in the Maestro, Maestro Liquid Summer from Giorgio Armani. And that's what I have on the skin today to kind of make it match properly. Um, I mean, I guess you could just use this the way we'd use custom cover drops. Like, I don't find that this has like extreme shimmer to it so it blends really well I don't think that my face looks crazy or anything for face concealer we have the NARS radiant creamy concealer in ginger I can use custard under my eyes but I just tend to not use this under the eyes I can use it under the eyes in the summer but in the winter I just really veer away from this completely for the under eyes because I'm really really picky about what I use on the under eyes like I don't like using even a cream I like for real runny liquid did you see they had new shades? Because I can use custard on their eye, under the eyes and then ginger on the face. I think it's macadamia that is the shade in between the two that has like a peachy undertone. That's kind of exciting. Um, I, for color correction, it's the YSL Tushy Cloud Neutralizer. And the under eye concealer is the Dior Skin Nude Concealer in 002. I have 001 and 002. 001 I can use in the winter. This I just decided to use for the summer. And I'm also going through all of my concealers and kind of figuring out what I really like. And getting rid of what I don't like I'm trying to really kind of make the collection small or not small I don't care about big or small I just want it to be things that I like or love so I mean usually you hear me talk about the Giorgio Armani my short eraser but I'm just trying to try like not try go through my collection just leave the only things I want so it's like not like this thing in the morning of like do I want this do I want that no because like any of these things that I grab will be great that kind of thing so love this keeping this I went I the cover effects one the cream concealer I actually thought I used to really like it but I don't anymore so that's gonna get like purged I set the foundation obviously with the translucent 2 from La Prairie and down the nose I have the La Mer concealer is this also getting reformulated I don't know but this is in shade medium I just drew like a line right down the center of my nose to kind of kind of contour I guess or highlight I guess that would be the the highlight portion and then I use MAC Trace Gold, this is a sheer tone blush, as my bronzer. So it's very light, bronzy, subtle, there's definition, but I just really like this. I went through all of my blushes. I don't need, I'm so excited to like just, if you follow the blog sale or buy it from the blog sale, it's like blushes are just always on there. Like I'm trying to get rid of them because I don't use them that much, but I went through my MAC blushes and this is something I was like, ooh, I, re I remember really liking this. It's like bronzy and yellow. Should I swatch it for you guys? There's a swatch of Trace Gold. How pretty. It's really like a brown tone and then there's like some like just kind of gold. I don't even want to say glitter, but it's like shimmer. It's really, really pretty on the skin. We have the Ulta Banana Powder right under here to clean, I was gonna say to clean shit up, to clean stuff up. And then I have a, I've been using this as like a default eyebrow highlight also. So really, really good. For the brows, we started, okay, so I bought Wonder Brow. I had mentioned this maybe like a month or two ago. I got it and playing with it. I don't like it straight out of the tube because it's like, it's just like a lip gloss brush that's very poorly cut. <laughs> the formula is good though. So I've tried using it with an angled brush. I've tried using it like kind of getting it on there and then blending it out with a spoolie and that works good. But what I've really just really enjoyed, really, really, is the Hard Candy Ink Stain. Like this is the light medium and I've had this one for a while. So I just like, take some of the product like I just you know basically take both caps off and I put a whole bunch of the Wonder Brow in here and it's been working out pretty well and it really doesn't budge I know people who use this exclusively as like the only eyebrow product I mean it looks very artificial but it stays on and from far away it looks perfectly fine but up close it's just like you can see like 
I mean, I know my eyebrows always look drawn in, but this, if you use this alone and you're somebody that really does have to draw a lot of brow in, it does look really artificial. So I don't know, I'm just, just saying, but it looks really good in pictures. <laughs> Eyeshadow. I use the Burberry Midnight Brown pencil crayon contour thing as the base. And we have Bobbi Brown Camel in the crease, as usual. And then I picked up the Chanel uh, Candor A Experience. Oh, no. Anyway, it's the one with the red for fall that's been released for fall. Love. I just, I feel like they do really, Chanel does good products, but I feel like their eyeshadows, I can really take it or leave it. Like, I prefer their maybe Illusion to Ombres, but in general, like, I, I really like the shade selection here. Because this shade is very like warm so I can blend these two often to do like a lower lash line color Which is what I did today and the red obviously is very exclusively all over the lid um, Sometimes you can use the red in the crease. It's very pretty. My hair is looking so shiny today So I've been taking those vitamins. Yes, that's the one I want to talk to you guys about later in like two seconds after we finish the makeup and The NARS Psycorax, which is just the black shadow to kind of create some depth Now, last video we were talking about matte black liners. So I returned the makeup for everyone because even though I loved it, the brush was not as thin as the Sephora. And I was going through my blog sale and I realized that I had put this one, the Balm Schwing Liner. So I was like, oh, let me just pull it out and use it. So I pulled it off the blog sale because I noticed that I like the longer handle because it feels more like a pen. But it's also very, very fine tipped. Which, is my, which was why I didn't really like the Makeup Forever one as much. So the bottom is the Balm, and that one's even thinner than the Sephora one. So I'm really excited. The only thing is that, I don't know why, if anyone can figure out the logic behind why they don't do MAC pen liners or MAC brush, matte brush tip liners in a pen form, is there something about a matte formula that makes it more difficult? Because they're always in these little ink wells, which is fine, but it... It just it always is more wet than I want it to be, and I always get more product than I want. And they just, I, the way, maybe the way my technique is, or the way I hold eyeliner pen, pen, pencils, brushes, I can't get a super crisp wing. So what I've ended up doing is just drawing in my, doing my eyeliner regularly with, you know, my Kat Von D or Lorac, whatever, my favorite like brush tip pen liners. And then applying my lashes and then going over it with something like this because the line's already been drawn. I love it because it looks super, super black, but it just seems like too many steps. I mean, it looks really good. It takes like an extra two seconds to do like another like line, but still, you know what I'm saying? And then I use the NARS Larger Than Life. Is it Larger Than Life? Uh, in the waterline. So everything's just looking super dark today, which I really love. The lip color today is just the Sephora lip liner. This is in... Nothing but nude, O2, made in Korea, and it's just a twist up. And when these first came out, I bought like three of them. Two of them really weren't really a shade for me, but this one is lovely. This is number two, and it's what I have on all of the lips. To me, it almost goes more pink, but I kind of wanted something to be slightly lighter than the lid color, and I really like these. They feel like a lipstick, like. The formula of it feels like a kind of almost a gel lipstick on the lips and you get really good coverage and I, don't, I just, I don't know. The Clarins, this thing has just been so good for the lips. Oh, and I forgot to mention that I use MAC Costa Riche on the waterline. Ooh. Oh, just a mess. I just lost my earring. <laughs> it has been a really weird week. I had taken a whole bunch of stuff in the car, like vlog sale stuff, like a huge like, canvas bag. And I don't know, it, I just set it in the back seat. It all came crashing down when I, oh, it's been one of those weeks, like seriously, just everything's just been like, there's been nothing catastrophic, but shit is not going my way. Um, okay, and then I used, did I tell, what was, oh yeah, okay. All right, so we were talking about vitamins. So I had showed these to you guys in the last vlog, the Country Life Maxi Hair Plus, and I really like what it does. But I can't, I try to take, because you have to take four. So I try to take two in the morning, like two in the afternoon. 
And then there's so many ways I know to take pills and I don't, I can, I'm a pretty good pill taker. But I just, the scent of it is just so, like I just feel like throwing up. And I can't, ugh. So even though I love the like ingredients in this, I can't, I'm going to try and finish it. Maybe I'll keep it at work or something like that. So I got the, okay, so then I picked up the hair, skin, and nails gummies from Nature's Bounty. And Remix Beauty, who had suggested these, I had mentioned like, you know, I can't do the smell. We've been talking on Instagram in like the video comments. I'm like, I can't do the smell. Like, even though I love the product and I know it's really working because I think it's working. I mean, I've taken it for like a week now and I don't know if my hair looks like, I mean, I think it looks really good. And then we're just going to wait to see if like, we have maybe either less shedding or just more hair will remain on the head because that's what we really want. And I know sometimes you guys are looking at my hair and it's like, oh, well, her hair looks fine. Yeah, it looks fine, but like, I can, I really want it to be preventative. You don't want it, anything that you are concerned with to ever get to a point where you're like, you know, like you're, it's so frantic. So, and she was like, oh, you know, I tried those and they didn't do anything for me. And I'm like, oh my God, they didn't do anything for me either. That's why I stopped taking them. I had been taking these maybe one or two years ago, I remember, because and if you watch my empties videos, a lot of, there were a lot of containers of these. So you have to take two and you have 15 milligrams of vitamin C, 15 international units of vitamin E, and 2,500 micrograms of biotin. So you could technically take two doses. You could take four of these a day. But I remember not them, them being not very efficient. That's why I stopped taking them. And I switched over to taking just individual capsules of biotin, vitamin A, vitamin C, vitamin E, that kind of thing. And I felt that was efficient also. But who am I to kind of determine like how many units or how many milligrams or micrograms of something to take like I don't know so I stopped doing that and started going back into this thing where like they were just you know pills that like already had it like divvied out for me so I also picked up the nature's bounty optimal solutions extra strength hair skin and nails this thing has 5,000 micrograms of biotin and this one has 5,000 units of vitamin A, 60 milligrams of C, and 15 again only of E. And you have to take three of these. But I think these pills are smaller and maybe they don't have a scent. I actually haven't even tried these yet. The gummies I might even return. I picked them up off of walgreens.com. I got four bottles of this and four bottles of this and they were doing buy one, get one free and you could get $10 off with Visa checkout. So I got like all these eight bottles of vitamins for like 50 bucks, which I thought was a really good price. Um, but you know what? Vitafusion also does a version of this. If you guys are like really into like the supplements and stuff, let me know if the Vitafusion gummies are good. Because even these don't taste that good to me. I'm like, oh, like they're, they're strawberry flavored in like <laughs> the most minimal sense possible. Let me see what the size of these are. Oh, do you guys see this? How pretty. Can I have my nails this color? Oh my God. Woo, okay. How pretty, have they always been this color? So pretty. So you have to take three of these a day. These are easy to swallow, like compared to these. Oh, I can, just lifting the bottle up, I can smell it. Oh, okay, I'm pretty excited. So I'm gonna give these a try. These, I might return the rest of the ones I bought. Well, I could return two of them because I bought four, but yes. Wanted to share that, my hair supplement journey. I never find that there's a difference in my skin when I take these supplements and my nails have always been really, really strong. So if you've watched the videos for a while, like my nails are always pretty long unless I cut them. They very rarely break. They actually never really break. If there is a chip or a break, it's user error. It's me doing something to it. So last night my brother came over cause he's home for maybe a couple weeks until he goes back to school. I really want to go visit him once he goes back and to visit some other people down in Columbus. Um, this weekend, I don't have plans yet. It's not to say there won't be plans. And the next week I know is a very event filled. So we'll see, we'll see how it goes. Uh, yeah, so we're gonna end the vlog here. I hope you guys have a phenomenal weekend because obviously this goes up every Saturday at noon. And I'm going to upload the favorite face palettes video, current favorite face palettes, because I last week did favorite eyeshadow palettes, so I'll link both of those videos below. My intent was to have them to go up together, but there's only so much time. Like vlogs, doing a vlog a week, I already find it more like kind of, not difficult, but like it's kind of like a rush to like get enough footage plus 
editing and then having it up that's like you know kind of involved so i don't people who vlog on the daily that's i don't know how you do it although like i guess if you if that's just your job it should be really easy <laughs> if you're vlogging daily so like getting a vlog up every week plus trying to have a beauty video that's the goal because i know when i had asked you guys in an eye, the eyeshadow video as well as in last week's vlog you know kind of what's your feel on vlogs and beauty videos most of you guys when i like went through and actually like tallied up the comments from like instagram and like the videos it came out that most of you guys were like okay we love your vlogs we love your vlogs but it was very very close so for people who are just really here for beauty i'm just every week i'm just gonna try and just do a vlog and a beauty video and just see how it goes because i feel like you know it's kind of it's kind of like the best Oh, oh my god, there's so m okay. Ah, if you love deer, I love deer. I love deer. And there's living where I live, there's deer all the time, everywhere. Some people might find it a nuisance, but I just think they're so beautiful. Ooh, oh, I feel so bad. I feel like at some point this year they did like a purge. And I was like, I don't really want to know what that means because I have deer in my backyard all the time. Beer, beer deer rabbits cardinals blue jays like there's a really beautiful wildlife here anyway yeah one vlog one beauty video that is the aim every week i upload both of them on saturdays if there's like some other day that's preferable i just feel like most people have time on the weekends especially to watch a vlog they're usually half hour plus anyway have a great weekend and i will see you guys next week